<clears throat> oh my god, I hear my voice again. Hello, welcome to my channel. So, today I'm going to be doing a full page using Dollar Tree makeup. Now, I went to Dollar Tree the other day and I decided that I haven't tried anything from that store. And I saw a lot of cool things. Sorry, my packages fell. But, um, <clears throat> saw a lot of cool things that look cool and everything. A lot of it from LA Color and all that. <coughs> Why? Every time I film, this happens. But, anyways, as I was saying, a lot of it from LA Color, some is from this brand called Be Pure and all that. Um, but a lot of the LA stuff was saying new and approved. So, I guess they must have reformulated their products and formula and all that to make it look better, uh, perform better, all that. So, I'm going to do a new face. Some of it I did have, so I didn't see a primer, I didn't see concealer, um, lip liner, things like that. So, what I'm going to use since I'm going out today because I'm actually going to go laundry, I'm just going to do a very simple, easy look, all that. But try stuff out. I'm going to use my Row Glow from ELF as my primer and my SPF 2 in 1. And I really do like this. This, I have to get another one because this will be expiring at the end of this year. So, but I've used it a lot and I love this one better than the new one. They had two different versions they have this one, then they have the um, non tinted one, supposed to be like pore filling, all that. This is supposed to be um, sun protection and makeup primer. The other one is like was like sun protecting and pore filling. Didn't like that one at all. I don't know why, <laughs> but um, yeah. So I'm gonna use as my primer, and I'm just gonna go ahead and let this sit. There was no eye product, and since this is a drugstore, I'm just gonna use my benefit. I know it's not a drugstore, and it's a little more expensive. This. Most of the stuff was only a dollar twenty-five. So, but again, I'm going out. I'm not really gonna be doing anything special. Just doing laundry because it's laundry day. So, I'm just gonna be using my benefit and throwing them around the way this sets. And then which we'll try the foundation. Now I didn't really see any foundations. I, I mean I saw BB creams. I saw I did see a foundation from LA Color, but there's only one shade and it didn't look good. It had bubbles and all that. So I'm like, um let's not do that and because I don't want to, you know, get sick or anything like that. So uh, my face break out because I'm trying to use stuff to help with my face to help with make sure it doesn't get broken out anything so once I saw that I was like no let's not do that so I found this other one by Be a Beauty and I decided to get that so like I said I'm just filling this in I'm not going to go too crazy just nice you know, simple, easy, wow. So yeah. <clears throat> now let's go ahead and do this. So this is a Clean Beauty Glowy Foundation. Um, it's formulated with niacinamide and aloe, which I love. And it comes with this. They did have maybe one or two shades. I got the shade new. I'm hoped I swashed it. It looked a little deep for me, but we will see. I'm going to use a brush. I'm going to use my blending brush, which is this one right here. I'm going to put a little bit on my brush, and we will see if it blends out good. So, like I said, I've never tried anything from the Dollar Tree, and I think, personally, if it's a good product and it works Amazingly, then I definitely would, you know, try it. Uh, yeah, it's a little deep for me. 
and it's still very like full coverage. Yeah, it's different shape to me. But I'll blend it down my neck because I'll be wearing a shirt, so it will be covered. But I'm gonna go ahead and put one more. Not a wouldn't work for me, but this is what it look like. You guys have to do a much later shading. Should have used a sponge to blend a lot of stuff out, but like I said, I'm just doing the formula. It looks very glowy, but I don't know if it's actually the formula because I have a lot of glowy stuff all over me, plus the low glow. So it may be just that, and it may be, you know, the low glow doing this, or it could be, you know, the um, foundation. I should have got BB cream, because you like the BB cream being a lot better than this. But it feels very full coverage, very glowy. Again, I have to try this without, like, a normal primer and stuff. I'm just like putting this down because again, this may be a little too um, deep for me. Because like when I squeeze it out and everything, and a lot comes out, so be careful when you do. I'm gonna keep trying this on like the days I'm not going out, but um, like I said, it looks like this. Like I said, a little bit too deep, but the reason why I'm drawing it down my neck, that way I won't have to worry about it. And I didn't put that much on, just enough to, you know, fill it out and everything. Because I want to make sure that, I mean, personally, it doesn't look that bad on me. But, again, the swatch, it probably does. So... So far, it's glowing, full coverage and everything, so maybe it'll work and maybe all that. I'll have my hair down also because, like I said, when I go to the laundromat, I'm not really like a type person that would be dressing up and all that, do laundry. Like I said, um, there's no facility, but I'm going to do the she -Glam. Again, this is about the same price. It's not as expensive. I mean, it's a little bit more expensive than this, but... It's a reasonable price. If you ever go on She Glam product, um, She Glam website, they have really good products, which I get full face. And I've used this for a while. And this is a complete complex booster. And I got my shade buttercream. Which hopefully this works. But I did put some stuff, yeah. So this is definitely going to be my shade. So I'm just going to go ahead and. But this will look like, as you can see, this is actually my normal shade. But you can definitely tell the difference between the shades. So I'm going to use my brush. And I'm just going to blend this out. I kind of like it, but it kind of feels kind of drying. And I remember correctly, it did. So, it spread out easily. Makes it a little too dry. Like, I think I am going to get rid of this because of that. I feel like that it does kind of dry like underneath and everything, but you could definitely see like the brightness a little bit. And next time I'm definitely doing a sponge. I like using brushes. I don't know why, but in certain cases I feel like that I just need a brush to help with the spreading out and everything. The concealer, yeah, it's a little drying. I need to definitely get rid of it because see this drying out or not, but you see the coverage, you can see the brightness, 
the doubling seam, the goriness, and everything. So, okay, now for powder, I decided to get this. Actually, I have a cream product. So, this is from LA Color. They had a whole line of like blush. I thought this was like a lip product, but it wasn't. Um, it's a liquid blush. They have like brushes, liner, I mean lip glosses, liners, like a whole display of stuff. So speaking of that, I am going to be using the lip oil. There is a lip oil. And it is called New Approve LA Color Roll On Gloss. And it Cal Upset Lightweight Shiny Lip Gloss and Nourishing and Hydrate. So I'm going to put that on the lips before we do this. And like I said, it's just a nice clear. It definitely smells like cantaloupe, but like it's a nice, like I said, clear gloss. I'm going to put this on until I do the finish. Like I said, I'm just going to probably use this. I'll just show you the rest of the colors, but when I come, like, like I said, go to laundry mat, I'm probably just going to be using this to just dab stuff down my lips. But for the cream blush, it's a cream blush, melt to skin, and easy application. So squeeze your finger, apply a cheek, and blend smoothly. Now, this is beautiful. Again, comes out a lot. So, a little bit, and this was a little too much, but it's a pretty, pretty, pretty color. Like, I really do like the color, as you can see, but I'm going to use my brush, and usually I use a, um, my elf brush, only because when it comes to this, I just like using that and the pigmented, very pigmented, uh, excuse me, <laughs> a little too much. Okay, let's just go ahead and line this out so I can, yeah, and then I'm going to be needing my foundation brush to, you know, do the rest. So, like I said, anytime you have too much, you just use your foundation brush and it will just spread it out more and blend it out more and that's a pretty pretty color and it gives like a little glow I actually like that color that's not too much truthfully but see the pigment is mm. I do have another one that I'm going to be trying but that's the only cream product that I have and then we have this one which is the contour stick it's supposed to be contour, but I was going to use it as a, you know, highlight. So, I'm going to do, I'm going to put it right here. And I'm just going to use my fingers to blend it out. And see what it looks like. I think it looks okay. I mean, I can always see the brow bone and everything. I used to have something like this in Benefits. It was the same thing. I used it not only as a highlight, but also as a brown bone highlight. So, we'll see. So, now the powder that I got, I thought they had powder, but I saw this. It's the Hughes Press Face Powder by Be Pure. It's a UV powder straight across the face, evenly, and smooth expression used. All of makeup are alone. I'm going to try this underneath my eyes. I know it may be a bad decision, but it has like green tea and all that. Actually, I'm going to put this all over my face. And I'm going to use a big fluffy brush to set all over my face. I'm going to use a different powder for um, that because, frankly, it's a white one and I don't want to, you know look too much and I'm going to use my other favorite powder. Let's use this one. This is more fun. 
So I gotta just take away the shine and everything. Like it's starting to look less glowy. But I still feel, you know, that glow. I don't feel like I'm really like doing that or anything like that. So we will see if it really does help with all that. Because like I said, I still feel glowy. And I'm going to take my other fluffy brush, which I was using, diffuse everything. I feel like it's all set to. That doesn't look bad. That actually doesn't look cake or anything like that. Like I said, you can still see the glow. But I think I kind of like it. It doesn't look mad whatsoever. Okay. So I'm going to set underneath my eyes, and of course you guys know I'm going to use my favorite one, which is a Halo Glow one. I can't help it. I love this one. This is the only one that really helped me besides my other powders that I know and enjoy. Actually, it does help me not get um, too powdery. So I'm going to go ahead and use a small brush and I'm going to set this under the eye. And of course we're on the T-zone. And then I'm in here. So like I said, this actually does help when it comes to stuff like that. So so far, the powder is not that bad, and I kind of, you know, feel like it kind of is helping me. It doesn't make me look cakey or dry like most powders I've been using lately has been doing. So, it could be a possibility that this could be one of my favorite ones. So, next we have bronzer. I got two shades. I didn't know which one. One actually is a shimmery bronzer. The other one is a matte bronzer. So I think if I remember correctly, this is the shimmery version and this is the matte version. It only had one bronzer and it's called the Instant Radiant Bronzer, which is in Bronze Beauty which is this one, and then they have the other bronzer, which is a matte one called Sun Glow. Again, this is from LA Color, and it's just new and approved, and everything. So, I'm going to do the matte. I'll try the matte version in a different video, but I'm going to try the shimmery version. So it said, instantly, sun kiss glow, sun silver brightness, silver natural looking glow. So actually, I'm going to do the matte version because then I had still have a little glow on me. But this is the shade. Uh, this is why I have the shade of three paint in a row. Love it. Love it. Here's my phone. Don't worry. That's my husband. But this is what the matte version looked like. I thought it would be too deep, but truly, I don't think it is. Then we have the sheer version in Beauty Bronze. So this is like the shimmer version of it, which is a little bit deeper. So truly, I think 
What I'm going to do, I'm going to actually do a MAC. I feel like the top bow one is a little bit deeper, and that could be a great, like, eye look. But I'm going to go in the matte version, because I feel like the matte version will actually suit me a lot better than the other one. So I'm going to use my brush. My green brush. A little powdery, but then, oh yeah, that would definitely work. It's not too um, dark for me. It's actually work. Okay, I thought it'd be a little too dark for me, but in reality, it's not. It actually looks good. So yeah, I actually like the matte version of it and then just blend this out and it's blending out beautifully like this makeup look is looking like kind of awesome in a way and i could definitely tell that this version i tried la color stuff before but would it be a new patching and everything so yeah i'm going to use this as maybe the eye oh this is a shimmer one Mm. Okay. Shouldn't work out that bad either. I mean, truthfully. Let me swatch the matte the matte version. Cause I could have swore that both of them actually will work for me, but we will see. Yeah, I think the matte version, like I said, would be a little too deep for me. But once I blend it out, it should move. Okay, I'll try the matte version, but I'm liking the shimmer version of this. Because it looks, it doesn't look deep, but it looks, gives me a little glow in a good way. Like, not in a bad way, but it's looking good. So, yeah. So far, so good. Now, I did get a blush. I forgot that, I, like I said, I thought the other one was a liquid highlighter or a, um, a, what, a lip product, but trying to find out it was a blush. So now I have a liquid blush and a powder blush. And this one is also from B Beauty. They have a lot of brands from LA Color and B Beauty and Wet Wild. Those are the two main ones I saw at um, Dollar General. So I'm like, hmm. So this looks so pretty. This is in the shade, um, uh, Jish PC. It's an Insolent Ageless Luminate Blush. Discover that Insolent Ageless Collective Slow Formula for a mature skin. If you have soil, natural oil, vitamin, essential and bright, long lasting hydration, you will help reduce the sign of aging. And that reason I got it. Because I'm like, oh my god. And look at this color. It's very bright, but I think once you blend it in, like take a very light, light, light hand, it'll work. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my brush. And I'm going to take a very light, light, light hand. And I'm going to just take a very little. I'm going to warm up this coil and tap it off a lot. And we will see. Ooh. See, that is pretty. That gives you a little bit of glow. As you can see, that's not bad. I mean, again, I'll diffuse it, but just a little bit of light hand like that, and then you take your powder brush, and you just then diffuse it, and that's beautiful. That looks amazing. Wow, okay. It's to look really good. Like a lot of these products, so far, no texture, no pores, no nothing. 
Um, well, underneath my eyes, it's not looking very cakey, and I think it's because of the similar, I don't think it's, it's not the elf powder, but the matte powder doesn't look bad, the blush doesn't look bad, the bronzer, like, everything is coming out, like, great. Okay, so I, I just decided to do something simple, I just got a little quad, and then this, I used to have a whole bunch of, these are the LA Shimmer Loose eye powders and it's really cool i decided to get this because i used to have it and i think this would be a perfect like inner corner because one it was i got i had a brown one and i was thinking about getting the brown one i used to see this all the time as a one look eyeshadow when i could afford like makeup that was more expensive than now then we have this one which is the la color one and this looks beautiful. We have this, which is very bright orange. We have this, which is amazingly like these shimmers. Oh my god, look beautiful. They didn't have that many selections with it, so what I'm thinking about doing is just using like one of the Mac. Um, like lighter shade because I'm thinking about just I'll use the shimmer because the orange is a little like I said I just want to do natural type look so I'm going to use the matte version of the bronzer and I'm going to use it to do my eyes I'm going to quickly prime quick do a little bit of primer. Like I said, just do a little bit of primer to have something in my eyes. I'm not trying to go fancy smashy when it comes to, like I said, doing laundry. But I know trying to do laundry will be after three. Um, it will, a lot of this will dissipate. dissipate. So I'm going to take the matte version of this and I'm going to use my brush. And I'm just going to use a big fluffy brush from the Singe Beauty Air 3. Tap that off and just do this. See, that's a good, like, like I said, every day bronzer. That probably wouldn't look so dark on my skin too, but I like the summer version because I feel like that this will look a lot better than the um, matte version of this. But I like this. And then I'm going to take the lightest shade in that palette. I'll use all three in a look, but right now, if it's like I said, just going to. Um, the laundry mat. I really don't want to go all haywire. But yeah. Then I'm going to take my clean brush. That I know I really love. Get this a little bit more. And just like have a wash of color. It's all over the lid. And it looked like this. And then I'm going to take this beautiful light color right here. They have no names on it. It's just called Desert Rose. And I'm going to put that all over my lid. Usually I do the brush, but I decided to do finger. And I feel like I have more impact with the finger than I do with the brush. And oh my god. That's beautiful. Oh wow. And that's just simply like two things from you know the eyeshadow. This is very smooth, very pigmented, very creamy. I think LA Color did a good job in improving a lot of this stuff because I feel like that this is so like beautiful and 
natural and like an everyday look and I love love this stuff so far like I really don't have no complaints the only thing I complain about is underneath my eyes but even like the matte powder is like working so well the blush are working everything is like working like in a maze so I'm going to take this small one again this I'm going to put this in the corner of my eye Again, it's just one of these beautiful, like, you can literally just use this right here. And just dot some, like, right in the corner of the eye. Plus, I'm going to take one of the small brushes. And just, like, spread it around. So. But, yeah. Okay. That's how beautiful it is. Like, this is just like, this is the reason why I bought these, because how pigment they are and how beautiful they was. And then I mean, I got the brown one. Okay, so I did get one mascara from Wet Wild. I'm not going to put a highlight, because I feel like that highlight, maybe we should put a little more. I'm going to put this on the brow bone. It says contour stick, but I feel like that I could always just use these on like the brow bone and use a little bit more. I feel like that this actually is working as a, you know, and just spread this out. Like I said, I use this all the time, not only brighten, but do this part right here. And it really did help a lot. Like that. So, I think I actually do like it. Okay, like I said, they had a Wet Wall mascara. They really didn't have enough to buy beauty, um, all that on LA Colors or anything like that. So this one is the Wet Wild. They had different types. This is the Wet Wild Mega Wet Mascara. It's supposed to be fully healthy lashes, soy protein rich, defined, and all that. And the clean definition mascara helps enhance fullness while adding color. Containing pro vitamin B and its white protein help finish lashes and leave them less feeling healthy. So I thought that was cool. Interesting. So again, we will see. I have I think I have tried once a wet well mascara one time and I really was not a big fan of it. And I've heard that the wet well mascaras are not that good. I prefer an Essence or an Elf or any mascara like that over um, the Wet Wild one. So this is what the tube look like. And then we have thin, very black. Ooh, that's a small, not a spiky one. It's like a tunnel in a way, like one of those swirly tunnels. Okay. Okay. Actually, this is like literally getting into every piece of lash, and it's not even. So, as I was saying, I was trying this, and it's not even like clumping up my lashes at all. Like this, I like the one. I like the smallness of it. I like the fact that it's not really like clumping up, and it makes my lash look like fuller like not spidery more like fluffy like the bambi lashes are the lashes that have been coming out like the falsies that's like nice so um i may end up liking this i may end up liking this to a point where i may end up going back there's only dollar 25 of this stuff i mean seriously this is a dollar 25 makeup from LA Color and all the other ones. So, um, it may end up looking good. Okay, so for lip products, they ain't no lip liner, so I'm not going to worry about that, but I did get a lip gloss and a lip color. This one I got 
and Dream Lender. And why did I feel like the battery fall out? Sorry, it's getting really freaking hot in here again. But this will look like it's kind of smooth, pretty, but then so this is Hydrain Lipstick in Dear Love. It's a brand new aloe and rich formula glides on creamy, smooth, and long lasting rarity. Right. So it's supposed to hydrate and everything. So we will see. I guess so. Take off the lip gloss. That's pretty. Oh, that's a pretty color. Kind of like a rosy red or a rosy pink. Kind of light. Hmm. I like that. That's a pretty color. So very smooth. Does it feel like it's felt creamy and smooth at the same time? Glide on beautifully. Now let me try the lip gloss. This one I got from the Pure. It is a hydrating lip gloss. In the shade, don't remember. Guess why I got it. Um, don't say. Oh, golden mage. So I figured this would be perfect because it's like a little like muted pink, like a light pink, and I figured this would be perfect over the lip gloss or lipstick. Just uh, like feels very smooth. Like I said, I'll probably be wearing the lip oil, but I will. And it looks actually good with the eyeliner, like the eye stuff. Like literally this is kind of like spring and summer in a way. Very smooth. So you kind of lighten up the um, lip product in a way. Kind of made it like pinky nude. So yeah. So far, I'm liking everything. We'll see how it wears. Um, like I said, I'll be changing the product before I leave. But everything else is going to stay. I'm just going to use my NYX Marshmallow um, Sage Spray. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed me doing full face using Dollar Tree makeup. And the look, it turned out like beautifully and everything. I'm I'm amazed. I'm amazed that a Bella 25 makeup from LA Keller has worked and a lot of these from B Beauty and either Wet and Wild Mascara. I mean I think the Dollar Tree was ad if you wanted to find really good makeup, but that's it for my video. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys tried any Dollar Tree makeup, please let me know. Comment down below if you did. <gasps> And um, give make sure you give this a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell. Then we're going to know why I upload three times a week. And thank you for watching. Come back to see me on my next video. Until then, I'll see you later. Have a great day and night. Bye.